So Dot OS 5.2 is finally out with some major improvements in Monet Wannabe and there are new features as well like the new game dashboard and wallpaper scheduling. As soon as you enter customization, the first thing you will see is Monet Wannabe customizations. After tapping change wallpaper, you can find scheduled wallpapers in there where you can create your own schedules. As you can see, I've created my own. To create your own schedule, just tap the create button in center. From there, you can select wallpapers that you like. If you select once then the wallpaper will change for one time only and you cannot add more wallpapers but for daily and weekly you can add as many as you like and you can also set timer when the wallpaper should be changed. As you can see Monet Wannabe has been improved and now you can select the colors that you like which is extracted from the wallpapers. Theme colorfulness is amount of generated colors. If you increase it then the generated colors will be more. If you lower it then the colors will be less. Then the theme brightness slider is to increase the brightness of the colors or to make it darker. You can also change lock screen clock style and the default one is kinda similar to Android 12. So if you scroll down to the very bottom, you will see more settings where you can find all of the customization and then you can edit the things that you like. By the way, if you want to watch the full customization video, then you can tap the card to watch it. And now the gaming mode has been separated from customization and it is named as game dashboard where you can find similar buttons just like Android 12 game mode. And all of the other features remain same and in-game controls looks like Android 12. Now in the battery settings you can find everything related to battery in here like smart charging, battery profiles and other things. And for extra security there is app lock and face unlock. App lock can be accessed only through customizations. Also the animation of enabling or disabling dark theme is just like Android 12. Also the lock screen has been changed and it is very similar to Android 12. So the wide one is L1 by default and safety net does get passed after enabling magisk hide. Also I'm not using any magisk module as you can see. As you can see Geekbench score looks pretty good and I have tested this one with Nexus kernel version 9. For CPU throttling test the results look pretty amazing and the threads were set to 100 but the temperature can go up to 50 degrees. I don't think you have any idea how fast I really am. I'm fast as fuck, boy. Sentry gun ready. So for gaming, the first 2-3 games will run fine and after that the device will start to throttle which makes the gameplay very laggy. So it is not the best option to play some games on it for a longer period of time though you can use some magisk module or you can use some 
hardcore gaming kernel and as always i have recorded this gameplay at 720p so for pros and cons the first thing is that this custom rom is mostly similar to android 12 and the features here is completely similar or mostly similar to android 12 whether it is lock screen game dashboard or anything else it is mostly similar to android 12 so despite of these changes this works perfectly smooth and there are no lags while using it normally and lastly wallpaper scheduling which is an exclusive feature of dot os and this is the first time that it has been introduced so there is no other oem skin which have this feature in this build there are many source bugs and due to this the dot os team has stopped official builds as I said previously, gaming is good for some time only and then it will start to lag so it is not the best option for you to play some games. So the RAM management with stock kernel was way too bad and after changing kernel it works perfectly fine. So with stock kernel everything was not working in background like screen recording, FKM or anything else. So I didn't face any device related bugs but as I mentioned previously there are some source bugs. In the end this custom room is good for daily driving as there are no lags in UI and it works perfectly smooth but the gaming performance is bad so if you want to play some games then you can use some magic models or you can change kernel. For daily usage everything works fine like hotspot, mobile data, bluetooth or anything else. Even the safety net is patched by default just need to enable magic hide if you are rooted. Also the customization is very useful once and it is more than enough unless you are crazy about customizations. So if you want to try it then go for it as there are very less bugs and it works perfectly smooth. Also it is great for daily driving and the customization is more than enough as well. But make sure to change kernel as it will be more painful to use use with stock kernel. So that's it for this video. Make sure to share this video and make sure to follow me on Instagram.